Vista G Motoring. Today, got something a little bit special for you guys. A 2008 Porsche Cayman S. Uh, this car is a beautiful car. Um, it's got a lot of flack in the past because people used to say this is the baby 911. If you can't afford a 911, you get one of these cars. But I don't quite think that way. This car has a lot of character. It's mid-engined instead of rear-engined, so it has more in common with a Ferrari or a Lamborghini than it actually does with the 911 itself. The exterior looks look a lot like a 911 in the front and the side. Um, pretty much the whole car. Uh, but nonetheless, there are some subtle details that are a little bit different here. And because it is mid-engined, it's got a near perfect 50-50 weight distribution. We'll get into that a little bit later. But until then, let's see what we can do with this thing. All right, let's go ahead and see what this thing can do in a straight line. Um, so since it is the Triptronic, there's no manual, we're just gonna go ahead and pour it. stop on a dime uh, 60 to 0 in about 106 feet with the six piston Porsche brakes uh, that are also cross ventilated can't really say no to that pretty awesome now as far as cornering uh, this car is actually pretty badass it doesn't have the adaptive suspension that is an option but I, I think that's a good thing it's one less thing to break in a car like this uh, the, the tires and the wheels in general are outstanding. Um, this one is actually equipped with the 18 inch uh, five spoke silver wheels. Let's go ahead and rocket this car forward. We have two 75s in the rear and two 45s in the front. So we have a staggered wheel pattern at 18 inches um, as far as wheel diameter. But that doesn't matter. I mean, well, actually, it really does matter. Those two 75s, to put that in perspective. That's what comes stock on a SRT Hellcat with over 700 horsepower. In this car, you can actually put all the power to the ground at any moment, so it's pretty phenomenal. And these tires are the Michelin Pilot Sport, um, so they're very grippy, uh, especially right now in the heat. Like I said, we're in Mesquite, Nevada. Um, and, it, I mean, just... my water but <laughs> it, it just hunkers down and it just it's like it's hugging the road um, if you can kind of imagine that in a car let's go around this corner take this corner here oh it just screams it wants to go 
about 60 miles per hour, so if you're ever speeding, uh, that's kind of a dead giveaway, so yeah. Just driving on the straight back road right here, I mean, it feels nice. Uh, there, There is a lot of road noise that is coming up through, uh, mainly because of the tires and the wheel setup. Um, but this car is built for performance. This is the S model. It's not your driving Miss Daisy type of Porsche. Um, I think this can actually keep up with the 911s of the day. So, yeah, the steering wheel is pretty nice. Um, you got a really good thin steering wheel leather wrap, of course, because we are in a Porsche. Uh, you have some really good nine and three notches um, to go ahead and hold on to to go around the corners. And I kind of like the setup of having these, these, instead of paddle shifters, these buttons here on the steering wheel. I mean, it's just easy. We're in manual mode. You just want to go downshift and push it down once, boom. And you got it on both sides. So, driving around town, um, it's actually a pretty nice ride. Uh, like I said, we're in Mesquite, Nevada. It's a beautiful city. It's actually grown a lot since I grew up here. But, I mean, just driving this thing in regular traffic right now, we're in a construction zone. Uh, they're doing something over here again. Let's 
go with the trunk. And yes, this car does have a trunk. That's the difference between a 911 and a Cayman. So, pretty big in there. Got a net up here to go ahead and put whatever you want. The engine is actually right here. Um, the only access point you have to it that's easel, easily available is right here. And this is just where you can go ahead and fill in the oil or what have you. But, you know, it's a pretty good trunk um, considering this is a sports car. Let's go ahead and shut that real quick. Boom. Done. And these are those custom tail lights that he put on. Uh, sequential, which is kind of cool, kind of like a, the new generation Mustang. And man, it is hot. <laughs> yeah, as you can see here, it's a uh, beautiful dark blue color. Um, actually, my favorite color for the Porsche, to be honest with you. So, let's go and check out the interior. Alright, as you can see in here, we do have a full on black leather interior beautiful soft touch everywhere um, and just the switch gear and everything just love it Bose sound system uh, very good sounding and looking in here you're probably like well where the heck are the uh, cup holders I mean normally they're like right here right no they're kind of hidden it's kind of cool you push this come out boom boom and you can just close that up now you got cup holders. Kind of a cool feature. Alright, just like any other Porsche out there, or a supercar to be honest with you, you have a frunk and a trunk. <laughs> Controls are right here. Let's get that camera down. So this opens up the front one, this opens up the rear. While we're in here though, I mean look at that steering wheel. Beautiful. And these are the buttons we're shifting up and down. Got them on both sides, which is pretty cool. Just all in all a handsome interior. Let's go ahead and open up the front. And you'll actually be kind of surprised here. Look at that, look how deep that is. Because of course, since you don't have the engine in the front, you have all of this room, and you know, put this in perspective, here's my GoPro Karma Grip. Look at that, all the way down at the bottom, <laughs> you just have a hell of a lot of room. Um, but you know, since it is a trunk, it does have to have a safety release right here for children or whoever gets locked in the car. I don't know who would want to be stuck in here. I mean, I could probably fit, but I'm a contortionist. You close it, you just go push down, and you're set. One of my favorite things are these wheels. They do get dirty pretty quick um, because these these brakes that are on it, but man, they're phenomenal body line of the car, all the way to here to the actual intake for the engine, one on each side, pretty legit, and the spoiler is deployable whenever you want to do it, and again it does pop up at about 60 miles per hour. have a fuel filler cap or this where I put the gas in up in the front. Kind of cool. So on the inside, it's all pretty nice switch gear. Nothing feels cheap. Hey, windows, one for each side right there. Mirror controls, just like any other car, kind of cool. Um, 
instrument clusters, priority BA. Let's roll up the window so it doesn't distract us too much. This car does have about 92,000, almost 92,200 miles. Um, but like I was saying earlier, this car will just do that all day. Uh, it could, doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and turn down the AC, unfortunately. Um, so as you can see here, it does have an infotainment screen um, in center. You have your temperature controls down here, fan speed over there. Um, this car did come with a, a phone basically an onboard phone and you have your dial up pad there it kind of shows the date of this car but whatever it's still pretty nice um, we're gonna go ahead and turn that on infotainment screen says Porsche we've got to turn that off so we don't get any uh, copyright infringement so from here it looks like you have a main screen which it's on right now I uh, can go ahead and change the audio um, like track list what have you sound uh, telephone, <laughs> that's a little outdated, and navigation, so no touch screen here, but just navigation. I personally don't know how to get this to work. <laughs> Maybe, there we go, map. So yeah, there we go. It's actually not too bad now that I think about it. Um, interior space, you also have a couple copies here. Uh, in the door, let's go ahead and open up the door. Not really much here. That doesn't open up. Just a nice padding. Memory seat controls. Not much there. In the middle, you have this little guy, cigarette lighter. Um, cigarette lighter and ashtray. It's kind of interesting. I wouldn't ever smoke in a car, but hey, to each their own. Um, then over here, you have your glove box. Actually, a fairly good size. Original owner's manual on there. Kind of cool. <laughs> yep. Okay. Also, <laughs> mind my uh, <laughs> sweat. Center console. Kind of cool. Not too big, not too small, but again, you're in a sports car, you're not really going to need a lot of space. This car itself. It's just phenomenal in general. Um, my favorite part, I know I said this earlier in the video, but engine right there. You got a good good view um, looking out the windows. And there we go. That's you, GoPro. Side mirrors. And the A pillars are actually very, very thin, um, which I guess is kind of normal for a sports car, but still, it's good to see that. Good visibility out the side. It's just all in all great. Man, there is just something about that sound. Ugh. Just one more. Just one more. I just can't get enough of that. So, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that like button. Go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe for more. It really does help. Also, in the comments, go ahead and let me know what you liked about this video. Maybe what you'd like to see in the next video, what car we should review next. Um, with that being said, my name is Brian Jane, and this has been Tribeca GMO.